Hi, this is Wayne from WTR Browser. I'm just going to give you um, a brief introduction into Live View, which is a new program developed by myself. Live View will connect to the Ofcom website directly and allow you to update on a daily basis, so you're always up to date. This will replace WT WTR Browser Basic and Professional when I do eventually um, finish which will probably be next year now um, but this is a great little tool uh, I've had some people beta testing it and uh, everyone's give some great feedback and obviously it, it's helped put some extra features into it obviously I'm always open to extra uh, comments and feedback um, it made WTR browser pro the what it was and it's always nice to receive feedback so I'm going to give you a little introduction into it now so when you first open it up you'll be met with this message and you'll only get this once so it's to set your grid code and you do that via your postcode so click OK and it will go to the box you require to fill in automatically so just type your postcode in and click the label above which has grid click me I wanted to put as little buttons on this as possible so you've got a message now saying it's set as SP and that's it that's done so you click OK the next thing you want to do and you can do this daily it will only allow you to do it once a day is click the Ofcom CSV update this will go to the Ofcom website and update the CSV. It does have one standard in it, but whether it will be up to date is when is up to you. When when you you've downloaded it, will probably won't be well out of date. So you can do this every day. It's very easy. It will tell you it's downloading in this little box here, and now it's finished and stamped it. So when you load tomorrow, it will say the twenty first and it'll allow you to update right so now that's all set up that's as easy as that is so if you want to find all the latest licenses for your area which is mine is SP so just click this date click me and a little date picker will appear now you'll need to uh, press any of these dates here it won't matter which date you, you actually tick or press it will only put the date the the month and the year in so if I click that now I've done that for a reason and that's to widen your search if I was just to pick say for example the 21st of the 7th it'd be very unlikely to find anything so it'd be quite annoying so what I did was just do do the month so press the green search button click yes it will say populating list it's now going through the whole of the uh, Ofcom file and it's brought all the results in if you want to see the location of it as it says here double click a result to get its location a window will pop up and it will tell you where the, where the location is that will only work for the UK and not Northern Ireland unfortunately the box will still pop up for Northern Ireland but it just won't tell you where it is but you, 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 you do have another method, I will show you that in a bit. So you can add that to your database and it will just keep constantly adding it. If you delete the database then obviously you lose your data. So if you press this button here it will add to the database and it will tell you at the top of the, the form that it's added. If you want to view them databases you just go here. The main database is if you save this, it's saved into do two different types because this don't have the location you can cannot search its actual location in a fashion you can you can narrow it down quite a lot by using the grid code and that's why I'll, I'll explain about that uh, little space okay so there are your, your databases and whatever you, which one you click it will open if you want to change um, from a default CSV to a text file just click settings and just click that 
text or CSV and then it will save as a text file rather than uh, Excel. Some people don't have it. Right, so if I want to um, search again for the same, but for June, just click that, click that, click yes, and this will search all the new licenses for June. Again, it will be put in ascending order, and you just click the result. This is all wildcard searching, and I, I have put that in the button there for a reason because some of the wording will have SP at the beginning or something of the license name so it will also bring this in to results sometimes and the space behind the grid helps that so I always leave that in and I know Warwickshire or West Midlands is a free and that would narrow my search down again so if I press that press yes it'll only bring the ones in in, in sort of uh, West Midlands area I'll just uh, click the results so there we go West Orchards famous at the moment for uh, their Channel 5 TV program Then Eaton. If you want to just uh, delete that. If you do want to search the whole of the UK, you can do that. Just delete it, delete the grid, and do the same again. So it's now searching for June 2020 for all the new licenses. As you can see, it's flickering, that's parsing. Your button will go grey. You won't be able to click anything. It takes a little while. The more the, the more the frequencies results, 702, the more it'll flicker. It, when it when it stops flickering, you know it's ready. Okay, so that's as easy as that is. So that's search the whole of the UK for uh, June 2020. So that's the easy bit. That's doing it by date. If you want to get rid of any of these just double click and it will go if you click in the box here with the grid code if you double click it it will bring your grid reference back so you won't have to keep putting it in it's like a storing feature right so now I'm going to do a frequency this is obviously narrowing it down to grid SP so I'm going to put 456 500 if you put a decimal point in it will remove it because the Ofcom file doesn't have one, it won't find it. So it's removed. Even if you forget, it doesn't matter, it will remove it. If you put anything else in a space or a comma or anything like that, then obviously you're going to get an error or it will say zero results. But that's the whole idea of you looking at this when it's searching so you've got an idea what you have searched for. So I'm searching SP for 456 500. now we'll have it that's for all of the grid SP if I want to do the whole of the UK again I'll highlight SP I'll remove that and I'll repeat the search and this will bring 456 500 for the whole of the UK 212 results Ofcom put duplicates into their um, file I have no idea why, but they do. So one will say receive and one say transmit, but they'll also do it on the um, the input frequency, and it's really annoying. I don't know why they do it. Um, at the moment, it's not too much of an issue. You you know the difference, but uh, it's one of those things, unfortunately. Right. Um, what else can I show you? Okay, we've got the links up here. This will take you to the WTJL browser website or UK frequency guide. This is for Rick King's website.
website okay click, click that off so we've gone through the updates settings pretty self-explanatory there auto clear will clear the results automatically after you uh, you search so you don't have to double click them I think there is a little bug in that one because it never cleared the date but um, I'll, I'll fix the, um, the bugs in this before it gets released this is pre-release video so other things may be added at a later time um, with the name it's very awkward at the moment I'm gonna have to find a way of making the whole CSV file either case sensitive or into lower case or higher case because at the moment what they're doing is uh, they're starting off with what we call proper case where they capitalize each word but some of them are putting in caps so when you say if I was to search for for Brighton my minds if I change that to be normal okay so I'll leave that uh, blank now I'll bring everything with the name of Brighton in but it won't bring in the one with the caps in because it's looking at case sensitive I will try and fi figure a way around that at the moment but it's n not a big deal I will probably put to counteract this I will put something in um, to so you can press a, a, a tick box or something so you can remove the, the proper case where it will um, put in whatever you like it's a bit awkward but um, it is what it is at the moment if you want to export all these you just click select all and save checked or you can just select whichever ones you want totally up to you it's easier to do it uh, select all and then just remove them from your CSV file folder um, right if I show you I can get something up with grid NV so I'll get get the whole of um, NV in to see if we've got something up this is for Northern Ireland this is what I'm going to show you about the um, the locations because you can't can't actually get any of the locations by double clicking Okay, so I've got 600 results. If I double click it, it'll just give me a little error. I will fix this as well. It's just blank. Sometimes it'll it'll give you some um, weird text here. But I will remove that you won't, so you won't see that. If you click the map, it would refuse to do it. Um, so what you do is highlight one and click view map. And it will show on gridreferencefinder.com where it is and you go down to here and you click look up address and it will give you the full postcode and location there so you, you still have that it's not as if you don't know where it is and obviously you've, you've got your map and you can change to whatever it is hybrid or standard okay so that's um, that bit done you can change the sector at the moment business radio technically assigned is the standard you can change it to area defined uh, CSR which is marine that's also marine that's also marine fixed links is for um, mobile terminals uh, mobile phone de terminals and maritime and uh, global position but the default one is the main one where you get your shop watches and that over in business radio technically assigned
but you can view the whole almost the whole database there's some where I don't have frequencies in them I don't know what the um, the point of that is but they that's what they do I have had a couple of feedbacks about uh, licenses not being found um, I don't know if, if it's a problem with Ofcom but a couple have been removed what was mentioned I'd search the Ofcom file manually just to make sure and they've been removed so but they said the frequency was still active probably haven't paid their bill I'm not too sure you'll see here uh, as well that, that it's got um, the name without space uh, that's also a difficult fix because on the Ofcom file you've got three different columns where it um, it will give you the license name um, in one which is this one but this one they've broken it up I don't know why they've done that either um, but there's no space in that I will try and repair that again it'll be something we do later on but we get the gist you know it's you can find it if you search for it it'll find it as well it won't store your um, grid code unless you put your postcode in so if I double click that now it will bring back my saved one so it will always remember that um, if I want to do a fixed link search I click whichever result I want so if I want to find all the same license number which when they apply if they want to apply for a capacity plus license which is multiple frequencies just click that it will tell you that's the license number and it will search for that license number it will remove your grid as well because the same license number can be used in multiple locations or if I want to click that and you can do the grid code as well because some grid codes are the same but with two different license holders completely like uh, an industrial estate for instance and uh, that will tell you anything on the same like industrial estate and that's it can't think of anything else to say at the moment uh, if you get any uh, ideas or improvements just stick some comments into the YouTube. Cheers.